Burnham and I'm here for Practical Bow Trainer aboard the new Seawood 25 E14. Now she looks just like any other Seawood 25 that you've seen, but that E14 stands for Evolution Year 2014. Here on the outside it is classic Seawood, nice, practical, solid, big wide side decks, but inside there are a few small changes. In the cockpit the most obvious change is back here. See, would have always had this back seat, but previously you just had a skinny backrest. What they've done is make this more like a, a big sofa. So you've got a much more comfortable backrest here, and they've wrapped it around the corners as well. So it just makes it a much more inviting place to sit. Moving into the wheelhouse, one small but very significant difference is that Sea would have actually lowered the floor in here. And what that means is if you're a tall chap like me, you can actually stand at the helm without your head brushing the headlining. But it's a really comfortable helm to actually sit at because they've put a multi-adjustable seat in here and there's even a footrest that adjusts up to fit you perfectly. You can also adjust the steering wheel and it just means you can get yourself into a really comfortable position for some serious boating. One thing that hasn't changed is they've still got the bulkhead behind me here and what that means is that on a chilly November day as we've got today you can go out, put central heating on and be really comfortable pretty much irrespective of what the weather's doing outside. Out here in the water, for all the changes that we made, this is still absolutely classic Seawood. We've got the Yanmar 110 horsepower engines, and that's giving the boat top speed of just over 20 knots, cruising very nicely in the high teens. She's a semi-displacement boat, and she's shaft drive, so she feels really solid on the water. The engines are a good way forward in the boat, and it feels very balanced. First of all, the one thing you find with these boats, and it's the same with all the seawoods, is it feels absolutely rock solid and like it'll go through anything. Finally down here in the cabin, it is pretty much as it was before. A couple of detail changes, they're putting a Corian worktop in here now, and there's a lift up section on the end to give you a bit more workspace. The other nice thing is that they're now putting a diesel hob into the boat, so you have no gas on the boat at all. It's a dinette forward as it was before, and the table will drop to make this into a double berth, and then you've got a heads over on the port side. It's a really nice update of a classic boat. It retains all the great features that this boat has always been very, very good at, but it just brings it a little bit more up to date.